Oh shit. I think I fucked that all up. Because <laughs> he's gonna need to kick it and then stuff's gonna happen. Almost. At least I know what I'm supposed to do. Overshot it. Whoops. Damn it. Jump jumping too soon. This isn't even the hard shit. That's what's funny. Like, I've seen... What am I supposed to do here? Holy fuck. speed somehow. At least I think that's what happened. But it felt like anyway. Oh, I fucked that up. Point indicators, I'm not that good at like reading shit blind.
Holy shit. Whoops. Part, I'm not 100% sure if I'm just supposed to bounce off of them or if I'm supposed to hold a button. I feel like if I hit a button, I'm going to hit the bunches above me. But I overshot the last one. Whoops. Now I'm thinking too much about the end and not paying attention to what I'm doing right now. Need to hold A. I had that. Oh. <laughs> exactly to it like that would different, exactly. Shit. Yeah, I, I, I've, no, I've noticed that too from my experiences of playing, or even just watching other people play Kaizo too. Like, it's. And like I said, it's because you're focused on the later part, and then you're not paying attention to what you're doing uh, in the moment. Because even if you get through a section that maybe not or might not be that hard, you still got to pay attention to what you're doing. Whoops. familiar with geometry dash what is that exactly I need to re-grab in there somewhere Oops. Oops. Oh, interesting. Yeah, tons. <laughs> um, it's one of the reasons why I almost didn't stream today, because I. Uh, so last Sunday I finished my full playthrough of Akogari World. Uh, like I said, I did it offline, didn't record it, nothing. Um, and I wanted to start speedrunning it, because that whole uh, ROM Hack Races challenge thing. So throughout the week, after I get out of work, I've been attempting to speedrun it and been failing at it. And so yesterday, um, I had yesterday off from work, so off stream, I was like, I want to do one full run off stream, and if it goes well, I'll stream it. And four hours in, I was at the ghost house, the uh, Grim Manor, I think is the name of the level, 
and uh, got stuck there for over an hour and my hand was so fucked I could barely move my fingers and just had to give up. And then couldn't do anything really for the rest of the day because <laughs> my hand hurt so much. I know largely it's because I'm gripping the controller too hard, but it's hard to stop myself from doing that. Like, I know I don't have to press the buttons as hard as I'm pressing them, but I still do it anyway. Ah, I almost got it. But anyway, but even, like, uh, from doing that yesterday, my hand is still sore. I don't know how long the stream will be. Like, I don't know if I'll do a full clear of this in one stream. We might finish this tomorrow. Depending on how I feel and, and what goes on. I don't know. I'm assuming the later levels of this heck um, will get harder. The other thing is, is with a lot of Kaizo players, I'm using an OEM Super Nintendo controller, which, uh, even though my hands aren't that big, it still doesn't fit my hands that well. I know a lot of people are looking into like trying to mod controllers or put the uh, SNES board into a fucking, you know, a different shell, so that way you can still have all the the benefits of an OEM controller, while also being comfortable. But I don't know if I'm going to go to that length to try to mod something or not. Oh, fuck. Well, it makes it worse for me is that one, I, um... I already kind of have like carpal tunnel or whatever from uh, many years of playing StarCraft 2. Um, and then on top of that, back in December, I had an accident at work, which uh, resulted in a sprained wrist. So my right hand's already kind of really like fucked up. Because I'm not fully healed from the sprain yet. So I have pain just because of the, the, the sprained wrist on top of everything else. Actually, partly how I got into Kaizo was from fucking my wrist up because I couldn't play StarCraft because I couldn't hold a mouse. Um, so when I first started playing this, I would just rest the controller on my lap and just kind of slip my right hand underneath it so I wasn't actually like holding the controller because I could press the buttons without pain. I just couldn't actually physically like lift it up after the injury, which... Holy fuck. Um, which... Uh... So I could press the buttons, <clears throat> so I could actually play. So I was just doing, um, you know, doing shit through emulator. 